All right, today we're gonna to work on this floor pan. And as you can see, I got a big hole in there. It's, it's just kind of roughed in, I got some lines there. What I'm gonna do is straighten this out all the way across, just cut it all the way across. And then uh, that'll be cut off straight there. Okay, and then from here, you see, I'm going to cut into it right to there, and all this will be bent down. This is going to be cleaned up here. Actually going to be bent on this line. This will come cut out here. This will get cleaned up. This here is all going to be bent down. I have to have six inches in the front for the hang, and I need four and a half, five inches in the back. We'll figure that out. So I can set my seat in here and be able to work it and have enough room for my head. <laughs> all right. I'll get it all set up, get to the next step, and queue up again. Thank you. Okay, so I straightened out that edge and cut it. Cut that one. And cut that one. <coughs> Oh, this is going to get bent down. This is going to get bent down to the line here. And I have this tool to help me. So we get on that and I'll show you the rest of that. Well, it's starting to form up. You can see I took this off. The strip it. This is what was hanging over. I was going to bend it down and weld to it, but that don't make sense. That's just gaudy and... I'll make it look right. I took that out of that right there. Clean up all these edges with the grinder. Straighten this stuff out. Got a little sag right there. I'm going to have to push that back up. And then uh, start welding in my, get my measurements for my pan and welding up my pan. And then drop it in and then weld it together. And I may even spot weld it. I think I have a spot welder that will work on this. So, get this all cleaned up, it'll look really nice. Okay, so now I cleaned up everything. I uh, grinded it all off, all the spot welds. And I've got a nice opening now on that floor to work with. So now I'll start making the pan, which I'm going to take. Measurement from here to here, from there to there. Get my base squared out. And then measure up how much I need for metal. Add a little extra for stretching and shrinking. And we'll see how it goes. All right. Okay, so let's see how that's fitting now. Yeah, going in there. It's all going to be hammered down as it's welded. Mm-hmm. And then you can see that edge there all be welded down and I'll make a piece to fit in here. And let's see, from under here, looks pretty good. Doing it. And this will all be bent forward and welded to that. All that will be welded up when we got our pans. And we're at the right height and looks pretty good. Even with the, yeah, pretty good. Okay, so the reason why I had to lower that, I might explain that to you folks up there because the reason why I had to lower this pan is to get this seat here, which is a charger seat out of the 2018 charger. It was to get it to fit in there with height wise because there is a uh, headrest that goes on here too and because I sectioned you can see the door over there where where it's been welded back that's where three and a half inches came out of that all the way around the car if you look underneath in the dash and everything it's all and done. So 
And the seat now will fit in there, and I'll, I'll I'm going to do a video of that here, and I'll show you how well it fits. This here, I have to make a template. I have a friend come over and help me with that, make that template, and then it'll fit in here perfectly. And then we'll go to the other side. I got, to, of course, I have to weld all this in, and on the top side, I'll do that, and then. Um, after I get those put in, get the headers all mocked up, then I can pull the trans, the engine, the differential, the tires, stuff I don't need on it, and flip it over and start working on all this under here. Clean it up, make it look really nice. And paint it. It's all going to be painted. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Keep watching. It's going to get more and more exciting when I get to this bodywork. You'll see some stuff where it'll change from this car to show quality real quick when that happens. So, still a lot of metal work to do. Got a lot of welding to do. And uh, then we can start on that. So, thanks for watching.